Hello, it's going to be a Truth About Heaven guitar tutorial for both the lead and rhythm. It's going to be real quick. I won't explain too much on the rhythm, on the strumming pattern itself. Uh, hopefully you can get it by looking at what, what I'm playing, just so I can get the video down faster and just listen to the song. So we'll start off with the rhythm. It's going to be drop D. So in the beginning, you know, you're going to hear that, the main riff that everyone hears on the song. The rhythm in that part is going to be playing the 5th fret, E, A, D, barring that. You can bar the 7th fret, 8th fret, and the ninth fret. So you can hear the showing pattern. Down, up, 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 That the the lead guitar plays. And I'll show you that in the in the lead guitar part. So after that, the rhythm in the first verse is gonna be barring the E A D of the second fret and fifth fret. So then he's gonna do this lick. So it's gonna be fifth fret octave. So fifth fret A string, D strings muted, reaping around the seventh fret D string. You'd be down, slide to the 7th fret octave, and then up, down, back to the 5th fret. Okay. On the 3rd route, uh, it's going to be a little bit different, but in the same ways, the same pattern, just adding something extra. Sorry. So what's going to be in there is the 2nd fret. And you hit on the third fret B string. Fifth fret, down, up, down, and the second fret E string. After you play that two times, you're gonna do the little lick. That's not why I'm here. And it goes into the chorus. The chorus is that same intro as the intro. That's not why I'm here. I came out here to tell you, rains in heaven all day long. And you get the rest of that. So after the chorus, um, there's like a pre, -in like a little inter uh, interlude bridge before the second verse, where it's just the drums and the bass. You hear it right after the first chorus, and you could just play on the first fifth fret B string and sustain it with an effect. If not, you can just wait. So the drums part uh, comes up, and then you're gonna strum the second fret E string. This is what I like to do: strum the E string from the sec 12th, 14th fret, 14th fret, all the way back to the second fret where you start the verse again. So. Okay, so the verse is exact same thing with the second part of the verse. Chorus is exact same thing. Now the only thing different is the bridge and the second part of the bridge. So it's gonna be 12th fret E string, 9th fret A string, and it's gonna be the So 4th fret E string, pinky on the 5th, 7th fret A string. Then you're gonna bar the E and A of the 5th fret. And repeat. Go so 1, 2, 1, 2. two times and after that the music's gonna stop it's just gonna be the singer and the guitarist and so the chord in the play is like the D chord except you take off the ring finger the middle finger on the third fret E string so, okay and the second fret gonna bar the ring finger on the fourth fret and pinky on the fifth fourth fret A string so fourth fret A and D and then your middle your pointer finger is gonna bar the um, second fret G and B then you're gonna slide down to the like a G major bar chord except without the pointer finger. Then you're gonna put your pointer finger on the third fret uh, G string. So ring finger is gonna be on the fifth fret A string, pinky's on the fifth fret D string. So
day, back into the chorus. Na, 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 na. All right, that's the exact same thing to the chorus all the way to the end. And then at the end, he plays, it's just him singing. It's the exact same chord right there. So emo, huh? All right. Um, now we're gonna go back to the lead. All right, lead guitar. What real shit is that? All right. So the intro, the little, the riff in the beginning is gonna be twelfth fret A string, ring finger on the fourteenth fret G string. These are octaves, okay? There's the same, they're same notes, just a higher voicing. Okay. So when I say twelfth fret, seventh fret, they're the exact same format of the octaves, just the fret is the root of the octave. Okay, so size so 12th fret. So it'd be down, up, seven to nine. 12 to seven to nine. To 10 to seven. Back, then you're gonna slide to 10, then go back to five. And then go to the fifth fret. Then go back to the 12th fret. Instrument twice. Three, three. So in total, it's gonna be. After you do that, you can play a little in, little intro, pre pre intro to the first. So it's gonna be 14th fret E string, 12th fret D, G string, and 14th fret D string. So 14. On E twice, G on the twelfth once, fourteen twice, then back to G. Just play that two times, and you wait on the verse until the you're, you're gonna play this little lick. You're gonna hear fifth fret A string, ring finger on the seventh fret G string. It's an octave, and you're gonna hit strum down, slide to the seventh fret, up down. Back to the fifth fret. So, this rhythm. Right here's the lead. Again. Now you can play the pre the pre intro thing I showed you. The all right. So now you're gonna just repeat that to the chorus, and then you and that lick the. And in both the leading rhythm, we played the octaves on the fifth fret, that lick I showed you. That's not why I'm here. Now he plays the, the chorus is the exact same as the intro. So it's the same strong pattern. So that's not why I'm here. I wanna try so bad, so that you know I'm miserable up here without you. All right, so that, that ends and then it comes in the bridge or the the inter like a pre verse second verse i'll explain it we're just the drums and bass and then uh, it's gonna be you can just put your finger on the fifth fret b string and have that while the drums are going sustain it with an effect if you want if you're playing an electric if not you can just wait till the drums come in and anticipate into the second verse and you can do yeah remember that so once the second verse now you're not gonna do you're not gonna just wait to do the little lick you're just gonna do this the same intro thing throughout the whole verse until at the very end where he's like that's not why i'm here that leading to the chorus you do that lick that's not why i'm here so the chorus it's the same as the second chorus versus the same as the second verse in a way and then yeah so now we're gonna go to the bridge that's the only different part so it's gonna be ninth fret it's gonna so Octave, nine, and then eleven on the D, G. So, two, to four, to fourth fret, octave. Twelve, nine, 
12 you hit three times. Three, four. Back to 12, to 7. Where it goes into the bridge where it says don't believe that the weather um was perfect the day you died something like that and it goes back into the chorus when the the beat goes in again and it's the exact same chorus exact same thing all the way to the end and yeah that's the whole thing pretty fast um repetitive and it's a really good song though uh, pretty good uh, i played it with my band so i might post it on um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, just tell me, comment, like, subscribe. If you guys like these tutorials, I'll put more, uh, rock tutorials. So just, or pop, whatever you guys want, just hit it up.